Hey space fans, Tarek Malik, Managing Editor for Space.com, coming at you from Colorado Springs, Colorado, where I'm at the 34th Space Symposium, and here I am with Sierra Nevada's corporation's Dream Chaser space plane. Now, uh, for those that may not remember, this is the actual uh, flight vehicle that Sierra Nevada used in November 2017 to do a drop test uh, to see how it could fly on its own and see if it could land on a runway in uh, Mojave, California. And uh, you can see that it looks surprisingly well. Uh, and what Sierra Nevada is going to do now is they're going to take this like all the experience that they learned with this vehicle here, and they're gonna build an uncrewed version where you see these fixed wings here on the side, they're gonna fold in, and these windows are gonna be gone, and it's gonna be have a, just a, a solid mass on the back, it's gonna come in black, and uh, that is their vehicle to deliver cargo to the International Space Station for NASA. They're looking to fly it on an Atlas V rocket built by United Launch Alliance, and they will launch it uh, hopefully in the 2020 time period. Now, this is, kind of the the life-size version of what that uh, uncrewed version is going to look like uh, it's this you know it's similar to a space shuttle but it's a lot smaller we're walking around here's the kind of kind of weird angle wings that you see here these are fixed ones but as i mentioned the uncrewed version they're going to fold those in there's some pretty snazzy music in behind me you see that there's two engines on the back that they would use once in orbit to fly to the space station. This center, center ring in the middle uh, is actually a hatch that goes into the fuselage of the vehicle itself. So when it does uh, dock uh, to the space station, there'll be a, an adapter here that'll have solar arrays and whatnot for power. Uh, and that'll be a tunnel that astronauts could go through the tunnel and then through this hatch and get all the cargo and goodies and maybe uh, treats that folks have sent them from the ground uh, to empty them all out. And then when they're done with their uh, their mission, with this mission here, they would load it up with maybe experiments to come back to the Earth uh, or unneeded items like trash or, or whatnot. And uh, and they would put it all inside here. It would undock and fly. You can see it's got you know the wings. It'll um, make a, a runway landing and then they could fly it again and again. It is supposed to be reusable. So here we are coming around the front and you're, you're seeing kind of the, the main difference is this cockpit over here. There's a nice little detail that I do want to zoom in once we get there. Now this Dream Chaser design is based on old NASA designs for a, a lifting body known as uh, HL20. And they kind of took that 20th century design and gave it a, a big high-tech makeover. There's some fuzzy dice in the cockpit. It's a good look charm that they used on their test flights for this vehicle. And so they took the NASA's experience with the HL-20 experience that, that NASA had done uh, way back when, built a new 21st century airframe, and voila, a new space plane. Now, while this one did uh, did fly in November 2017, they're hoping to uh, fly the uncrewed version in the 2020 time frame. Uh, this would have launched on top of an Atlas V with astronauts inside, fully exposed. Uh, the new uncrewed one will actually have a shroud over the actual body, the, the, those wings will fold in like I mentioned, and then once it gets into space, the fairing will pop off, the wings will pop out, it separate, and then make its way to the International Space Station. 